Hey everyone, Paul Mann here and welcome to my videos on Practical Python. This is where we bring your Python skills to life. In this series of videos, we're writing Python code to find and extract metadata from digital image files. In this video, we're going to focus on RAW and HEC formats. You're likely to encounter both of these formats on your computer when you search for image files. So we're going to update our code from part one to include these formats. So in the last video, we created code to go through folders and subfolders for BMPs, JPEGs, and PNGs. And we had a printout like this that gave the make model of the camera the date the picture was taken on the file. So if you remember, I created a folder on my desktop with several image files to go through. And I've added some CR2s, which are raw, Canon raw files and HEC files to this folder and we'll search right now and it does not pick them up it only picks up the uh, existing ones and it also flags a CR2 and a HEC as an incompatible format. To include HEC and in RAW files in our code we're going to write some additional code in a new file first and get it to work on these formats and once it's working then we'll incorporate it into our main file. To read HEC files, which is the first one we'll do here, we have to incorporate some additional libraries into our code. So the first one is the IO, which is kind of a file open, but it's for streaming files, and we'll talk about that in a minute. The second one is the PI HEF, and HEF is the standard, and HEC is the file format. So you'll see these used together quite a lot. And then we'll also import EXIF read to read the EXIF data. So the first step is we're going to create a variable, hef file, and read the hef file file name, which I've copied a hec file into the Python code here so we can do our testing without going out to uh, additional folders. So this first command loads the file into the variable hef file. Now here it's a little bit different than what we did before. We're going to search through the hef file um, the metadata, the HEF file is essentially a dictionary and we're going to search through for a value to get the key. The value here will be uh, metadata and the file stream is a variable that we'll create to use the IO bytes, which again is a stream reader to pull in the value for the metadata uh, data value, data key. And that's what we're looking for here. That's where our EXIF data is. And this is different than what we did before, but due to the you know different format of HEC files, this is necessary. The first six characters in the stream are corrupt. Not, they can corrupt our data, so we avoid them. And that's why we're using IO data, IO bytes, instead of just opening up the file like we would normally do. So the file stream variable now contains the metadata from the HEC file. But in order to make some sense of that data, we'll use the EXIF read library to pull that in and, and make it interesting for us. So with the tags variable is what we'll use to copy that data into. It tags will be a dictionary with similar to the last time. So now let's take a look at what's in the metadata for the HEC file. If we do a standard dictionary, a printout, and remember the tags variable is a dictionary. We print out the keys and the values. We should get a list of all the metadata in the HEC file. And there it is. <clears throat> it looks similar to the last time. It's a little different format, but essentially the same data. So let's remove this and we'll just get the make model and date the picture was taken so we can incorporate this code into the existing code. Now there are a few hub hoops I had to jump through to get this data. I had to make them a string first, and then I had to split the keys to get the uh, single variable. <clears throat> Apparently the, the tags dictionary had multiple levels of keys and it was difficult to print. So, so maybe there are better ways to do that. And if, if there are, please let me know. But this is the only way I could get the, uh, the, the one variable for each specific thing that we're looking for. And if we print out each one of these, we'll get the make model and date the picture was taken similar to our uh, previous code for the EXIF data. So now we'll go to process the raw images. And to do that, we'll create a separate file to do this. We'll merge this later. I've copied some raw images into PyCharm here. 
And to process raw files, we only need one library, which is the same as we used before the exit feed. And then we'll open the file like we would any file, except that we'll open it in read and bytes format. So this will work with other image files too. The CR2 is the Canon raw image, but I've also tried it on Nikon and other cameras, and it's the same process. So again, we'll create the tags variable, which will hold a dictionary of the metadata from the uh, file. Again, details equal to false, just to cut out the uh, bytes comment data. And we'll run a standard dictionary print routine to print out the metadata from the file. And as you can see, it's a little different, but it um, has all the information. It's just worded a little differently. So we'll, once we know this, we can get what we need. And in order to get what we need, we'll get the make, model, and original date with the following keys from the dictionary, the tags dictionary. And we can print out each one of these variables, and we should have the make, model, and date the picture was taken, as shown below. So now I've taken the files that we just did with for heck and raw and brought them into our main program that we did in the last video in this series. So it's a function that takes in the file that's sent to it and it checks it first if it's a regular JPEG or BMP or PNG. And if it is, then it processes that normally. If it's not, it tries to process it as a heck file and goes through that. And finally, if that fails, it goes down to a raw image and I have Canon CR2 and Nikon NEF. You may have other formats, you would have to put them in this uh, decision here. On the bottom I've commented out the specific search for JPEGs and PNGs and so on and just replaced it with is it a file? Send it. So this goes through all the directory um, for all the image files rather than just specific ones. And I've added some files to the directory. Um, I've added some Nikon raw images, NEFs, and Canon CR2s, and a bunch of heck files. I also added a file, a PDF file, which should be written to our logs to show that everything is working. We should get an error message with a PDF because that's not an image file. Um, so that's there as a, a tester or a tracer. Now when we run our program, we should see a full list of files that include JPEGs, RAW files, and HEC files. And as you can see, there's the Nikon RAW file followed by the uh, Canon RAW file, and all the HEC files are included. Also, if we go to the log file, we'll see that the only file that wasn't processed was the PDF that we purposely put there to ensure that the logs are working. So now you should be able to search through your computer and find and process raw images and heck files in addition to regular JPEGs and PNGs. In the next video in this series, we're going to look at extracting GeoInfo from the metadata. This will give us the location data in addition to the attributes we already have. The code in this video is shared on my GitHub site. Just click on the link. I encourage you to download and contribute to the code. Put your comments below or head over to my Facebook group where there are a lot of discussions and videos. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until the next time, take care.